What's up guys and welcome back to my FC24 player career mode. In this episode we are going up against Chelsea first, then we have our Champions League debut against Panathinaikos, then we are going up against Leeds, then we are facing West Ham, then we are going to end the episode against Real Society. Probably not going to end it there, depending on how things go. Probably going to end it with the Arsenal match or something like that. But before I go into the Chelsea match, there are the skill points that I have to allocate to my player. And yeah, once again I have no idea what to do here. But I'm going to take my long shot up. And then my finishing is going to go high as well. We have three left. And I mean, there is, it's pretty sensible to like work on these. So I'll put one on my critical accuracy. And then my passing needs a lot of work. So that's what I'm going to work on next. Vision and short pass. I'm going to do that. So that takes it up to 72 and 78, respectively. Now we're going up against Chelsea. We're still a right winger. I'm still keeping myself as a right winger for now. All right, so objectives. What do you have for me? 7.0 match rating. That, that's, that's different because it's only 6.5 on on the highlights. But anyways, what a struggle and complete passes that would enhance to three. And let's see what we can do here. All right, first order of business, Chelsea have a counter-attack, which I'm going to stop easily there. And then we have our own counter-attack. And I'm thinking Haaland, but then I'm not, I'm, I'm honestly not sure. Honestly, not complete. Oh my God, Haaland was in a very good position there. But going to give it to our player. And it's probably a goal. Yes, it is. And that's the first goal of the match from Levchenko. I probably should have given it to Haaland, just that I was... I was focusing more on my players, so I really didn't see Haaland making that run there. But I mean, it's a goal. That's what matters. And then we have a solo run. It's probably going to be 2 0 if Haaland doesn't fuck up. So I'm going to give it to Haaland. Oh, that was close. That was really close. But I mean, I probably should have passed because Haaland got absolutely locked there. But still, though. All right. So back to Brenner. Or right, that's Brenner de Silva. Okay, I'm pretty much. Yeah, we have. We don't have to go back. This is the first half. To Grealish. To Cancelo. Back to Grealish. Back to Cancelo. Maybe to Haaland. Oh my God, that 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 is just bad luck. That is just bad luck, man. To Haaland. To my player, maybe. Yeah, we are. We are absolutely. All right, I have no idea what the hell is going on here. Yeah, we are still with the ball. That's actually absolutely crazy. We are still with the ball, and. All right, okay, so it's, it's long gone now. All right, so that was a long ass attack, but now Chelsea have a cost opportunity. I think it's half time now. If I'm not wrong. But let's just do what we do best and just stop this from happening. All right, so they have become. It's looking really dangerous now, but that was a really good save from Ederson. Um, I think Grealish looks like he's in a. Well, not anymore. Get this out of our player, and let's see what we can do. No, I just. He just couldn't hold it very well, but we have a long course now. I think this is going to our player, if I'm not wrong. It's going to our player, yeah. Oh, it's Grealish, not our player. But, oh well. So that is a goal. That's the second goal for the match. And it's Grealish that gets the goal for us. And now Chelsea have a solo run. And I think that's Cancelo. He should be able to stop this. I hope so. He should be able to stop this. This should, really shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Obviously. All right, so that's the end of the match. We do get the goals. So that is good. And I absolutely love that. Good match against Chelsea. And we're going to be earning ourselves a training drill here. And we have our Champions League debut match right now. We're going up against Panathinaikos. We're going to be playing the full match. And I mean, we should be able to get a goal because we're playing the full match. So it's pretty much the best team that we put out. I mean, obviously, apart from coding, not playing where we are playing. But it's really the best team Pep could put out right now and let's hope that we get a Champions League big goal. Alright, so what do we got here? An 8.5 match rating, get an assist on goal and take three shots to target. I'm going to enhance that to four. I have proven to be a very stingy player, so I mean, other than Haaland, I hardly ever pass to anybody else. So, I mean, 
Yes, no, this is going to be relatively hard. But I mean, our team is way better than this team, so we should we should have a pretty easy match. Hopefully, though. Because, I mean, the AI can just decide to fuck up sometimes, and it's really annoying. But good. Exactly what I'm talking about. But good tackle, though. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Can he finish? Okay, good save from Edison. So hopefully we have a counter attack coming here. Come on. Alright, Haaland, do your ball. thing. Please. Chance to play it in. What the hell? A deft Why did he just stop moving? That is what I absolutely don't get sometimes. I mean, he just doesn't make runs sometimes. Alright, so that is a good. Good to How long? Come on, don't fuck me up here. Oh my god. Alright. He did. He did. He did. I don't know what's up, Rowland, to be honest. I don't know what's I don't know what's going on. But that was very over it comes. Maybe. Oh the deflection. The deflection helped us. But we do have our Champions League debut goal. I don't even know what minute we score this in, but I think it's like the 30th minute or something like that. But, I mean, the way we saved that was actually really crazy. Because I thought it was long gone, but like, I just prayed to pass button and he was able to like stretch and, and get it to Grealish. Who gave it back to him and the deflection just absolutely fucked the keeper. But, I mean, we're not complaining about that. Alright, so it's half time and we're winning. Yeah, but one thing that's really annoying is the fact that I'm pretty sure these guys have way more position than us. Because... Manchester City is okay, it's not way more, but okay, it's pretty much even, but still though. I mean it just feels like when I'm playing it feels like the our team is not doing anything at all to be honest. Because it's like I'm it's like I am I am the one that is literally carrying the team when I'm not supposed to be. And if not for me calling for passes, there's a lot of stupid shit that the, the players are going to be doing and it's just, it's just so annoying. So I really hope in the future FIFA or the future FCs um they actually fix that because the, I mean they should just play the way they would play if I'm playing with a team against Manchester City. They just play that way and I would just like find my way in the team, something like that. Alright, so Haaland. And he does nothing with that. So yeah. I mean I didn't even call I mean I didn't even call for that part, so it's just kind of weird that he would do that. Oh my god, these guys are literally playing with fire right now. It's like I shouldn't even bother trying anymore. I shouldn't even bother trying anymore. Oh my god, oh my god. Alright, I'm absolutely convinced that these guys don't want to win this match, to be honest. Because I mean, I, we haven't had the ball in like, since the last cut, we haven't had the ball at all. I've, I've just been, I've just been wandering around here. Try to make sure the team gets the ball. Please, thank you. So Alright, that is good. And uh, no advantage, sadly. Just watch Alan for myself. Oh, Please. Oh, finally. At least I got my assist. Well, it was a really good assist. It was a really good assist. And finally, Haaland freaking scores in this match. I don't know what the hell he has been doing. Yeah, but that was a good pass, actually. I feel like if I put that on the ground, it probably it probably would have been intercepted, too. That was really, really good awareness from my player there. Alright, so we have possibly another chance here for Haaland. Oh my god. Why do you do these things, bro? Why do you do these things? What the hell? What the hell? What? Why didn't he just go and score? Okay, that was good. And Haaland, yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't want to score. Bro does not want to score at all. I'm convinced that he doesn't want to score, to be honest. Alright, that was good. Play. Maybe. Please tell me to go. It's not offside. Oh my god, that's that's crazy. That is fucking crazy, man. <laughs> All right, yeah, that was that was really good. That was really good. So we got two goals in the match, and then we go and assist. So that is, I love that. I love that. I mean, to be honest, this they could have actually gone to score all by themselves. But for some reason, they're like they're like delaying for some reason. I don't know why the hell they're doing that, but. Oh well, 
it still led to our second goal so we have a brace in our Champions League debut all right so that is the end of the match and we have had an absolutely insane match I, i'm pretty sure that we are the man of the match this match and i think we got a 10.0 after that last goal we scored yeah we did we got a 10.0 we got one assist and we were only able to wow we got two shots on target and those two shots were good i don't think we had any other shots on target next up we have leeds united and of course you already know because we had a really good match we're going to be simming sorry we're going to be training and we have leeds united up next and i'm going to jump to the result and let's hope we score three no we don't the burner and i'll always get the goals that get the goals the next up we have an international friendly we are going up against england all right so we're going up against portugal here we did not have a good match in the last match or well, i didn't i can't remember if we got the objective or not but we didn't score so i'm going to training and we'll just skip and we do win the match three no we score no stones and sandro got a race in the match. Alright, going up against Croatia now, I'm going to jump in the door. I'm not really interested in playing the matches for international friendly because they actually don't even record them or anything like that. But we don't get the goal though. Chaloba and Ings do score for England. Next up we have West Ham. We didn't really do well in the last match, so obviously no training. We didn't even show that there was a training available there though. So we're going to play the team highlight for this one and let's hope that we can get a win. The kids are looking kind of weird. So I don't know why they would do it. I don't know why they would just sort. I mean, it, sh it shouldn't really be that hard to just sort that out. But anyways, team highlights against West Ham. So if you guys are enjoying the video so far, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also leave comments or anything about the video, about the series and the video in particular. Yeah. So get the 6.5 match rating, get an assist on goal, complete one pass, which are going to be enhancing to two. And let's see if we can get just another goal in the Premier League. Starting with the West Ham counter attack, which should be good. And I just pulled Diaz out of position, which was pretty dumb. And that was good. Counter attack, please. Counter attack, please. Counter attack, please. Oh my god, what the hell was that pass? Ah, uh, alright, so we have a long course. This should be straight to Holland, and this should be a goal. Come on, wrong. Please score it. Oh, he actually didn't score it. He actually didn't score it though. All right, so okay, so we have a penalty. Haaland is going to blast this into the top left. Let's make it right. All right, yeah. So obviously going to score that. Never going to miss that. And that's a lovely penalty. Counter attack time now, and we are looking like the best player to give this to. And this should be a goal for us. Should be a goal. We actually don't score it. We actually don't score it. That is crazy. Oh my god, really? Anyways, we have yet another crossing opportunity for Manchester City. And let's see if we can make the most of this one. Give it to Holland. And yeah, it's completely wasted. I don't even know. I don't even know what they want from me to be honest. But we have a chance to get an assist in this match, and I hope we actually can. Let's just turn this a little bit to Haaland and let's hope that he actually does get ahead on this. It doesn't reach him though, but I don't even know who the fuck he reached, but we have... Alright, it's not. It's just not happening. It's just not happening for us. Alright, so pretty for Manchester City and it doesn't look like we're going to be scoring in this match unless something weird happens here. That's a good ball. Well cleared away. Nope, I'm not scoring at all. And yeah, we have well, the lost the opportunity to score there. But when we do win the match, and that's what matters. But we got two out of the three objectives, and I feel like we had a good match. Next up, we have Rusty Sidad in the Champions League. I'm going to be playing the highlights for this one as well. And let's see what we do. All right, so what do we have here? 6.5, one goal or assist. Ha, one pass obviously and I have that to two and let's hope that we can actually get a goal and redeem ourselves from the, five, from the last match we have someone on him but this is probably a goal for them yeah this is probably a goal for them oh my god they hit the freaking post that's crazy all right counter attack I'm looking at my player here he looks like yeah he's in the best position for this Grealish as well but I'm going to give it to my player obviously because I'm into my player so let's just pass Oh my god! 
Oh my freaking, oh my fucking god. I could have just shot that and scored. So anyway, let's see if we can help ourselves. No, we cannot and it's just all fucked up to be honest. We have another counter attack here and our player is looking like the better option yet again. So let's hope, oh my god, he just fucked that up unnecessarily. But that's not a very good pass from Haaland. What do we have? And does it go out? It doesn't. Sad. All right. So cost opportunity for Real Society, and we have a, we have three really good chances there right now, and we completely fucked all of them up for reasons unknown to man. All right. So that is brilliant to Holland. Ah, uh, really. I don't even know how that that isn't even a a penalty. Oh my god, that's just unbelievable. That is not even possible at all. All right, offside, and we have a penalty for Holland. And obviously, I'm not going to be taking any chances here. But we're blasting this to the top left corner. Yeah, the keeper had no chance there. All right, so. Alan has gotten yet another goal, and I'm just waiting for my player to get a goal here. Um, it's looking like we can, if he keeps on running here, which he should. And the pass is not really all that. What, what the hell is like, I swear to God, it's like, he cannot fucking run. I swear to God, he can't run for some reason, what the hell? The game is absolutely screwing with me right now, and I, I, I don't fucking like it, to be honest. I mean, we still do get the win in the match, and that's what matters, basically. We have the matchup against Brighton next, and we have... They are literally right in our tail. We are third position, Arsenal is in fourth, and Newcastle is in first position. So if we do win this match against Brighton, then we are going to be... <clears throat> sorry. Then we are going to be first, obviously, and then we should play the match against um, Arsenal next. So up to level 32 now with the latest training drill and match day. Should I jump to results? It's going to be fucking risky, but I feel like I will do that. But now, there's a higher chance of me scoring if I play the highlights, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So hopefully, my player isn't jogging when he's going to be running, because it's actually absolutely annoying when that happens, because, I mean, he should be like a speed beast. Why the hell in the fucking 59th pace player catch up with him? Like right, so the first order of business here we have a course of a course opportunity and this should be going to our player or Haaland one of the two should be reaching up doesn't really reach anybody which is Haaland though and yeah it's a good good shot and Haaland has a penalty like this is the third penalty he's going to be scoring in the row if he actually does score it let's see if he oh my god oh my oh my god <laughs> what do you do? Has another penalty. All right, so we're going to be going down the middle. Let's hope that that doesn't happen. Like it was a panic, so I wasn't really expecting. I wasn't really expecting to. Um, what about? I don't even know what I'm saying. But anyway, we score. That's what's important. Let's hope that we have a chance for a player. I want a player to score this match. I really want to score this match. All right, so let's call him. Okay, he runs with the ball. I don't know why he has been. All right, so that's a good chance, but it goes wide. All right, let's try and make sure we do not concede here. All right, this is looking really scary because Brighton is a pretty. Oh my god! My fucking god! They kept the possession and they ended up with a goal. Great, fucking great. I really hate this game sometimes because the defending is just impossible sometimes. I mean, I mean, once they're out to get you, they are fucking out to get you. There's nothing you can do about it. Let's... Why did the keeper even come out? That's what I'm trying to understand right now. Why, why did the fucking keeper come out? The annoying thing is that the pass isn't even hard. The game is just absolutely fucking stupid sometimes. Let's see, and no, we can't, we can't get anything on that, but let's hope that we can get a a header on this. Haaland is all the way at the far post, so that's exactly who I would be giving this to. 
Let's hope it does get to him. It doesn't, but it does get to Bristol. Oh my god, that was that was beautiful. That was fucking beautiful. Good goal for Bristol. Hopefully we have one more chance. No, we don't. We draw the match, and I think I think we are still going to be first. I think we're still going to be first. But we don't score. I do not like the fact that we don't score. But I mean, the game is absolutely fucking with me to be honest, and I don't like the fact that it's doing that. All right, so I don't know what this is, but it looks like it's supposed to be like a presentation, and it's not. Presenting. I don't like this. What the hell? Oh, okay. Ballon d'Or winner announced. Oh, Haaland did win the Ballon d'Or. That's good for him. All right. So they are announcing the Ballon d'Or. What's the date? So exactly. What's the date? Sorry. On the fourth of November. Okay, so they moved it up. They moved the announcement up in the game. That's cool. And Young Player of the Year award winner revealed. Oh my God. We got it. We got Young Player of the Year award, and we missed the cutting because the game was freaking glitched or frozen or whatever. How the hell, how the hell, how the hell do we not even, how the hell do we even miss that? That's so sad. But anyway, with that draw, we are all on the same amount of points. And the only thing saving us right now is the fact that we are 13 goals. We have a 13 goal goal difference and we are ahead of Brighton. Alright, so the final match of the episode is going to be against Arsenal. And it's been a weird episode. Project is stylish penthouse. Let's look at what we have for in, in terms of investments. I want to invest in a clothing brand. That's something I want to do, so let's do that. Then I also want to invest in oh this 50 days remaining. Okay, that's crazy. Residential property. I also want to invest in something for a music industry. That's the risk. I wrote something like high risk. Alright, stock market, let's go for that. We had a good match last match, just that we didn't score a goal. I mean, according to the thing, we actually got the object we, we got two out of three objectives. So I mean, I take that as a good match. And for this contract thing, yeah, it's going to be a problem because <clears throat> am I going to be able to get thirty-five successful courses by the end of the season? Am I going to be able to do that? I doubt it because I mean, the way things are going, unless I play every match, I probably wouldn't get thirty-five successful courses. But anyway, that's not important. We have the match against Arsenal up next, and it's going to be tough. I think they are fourth position, and if they win, they're probably going to like go ahead of us, definitely. And if we win, we're going to keep our first position because it's a really, really tough battle between us, Newcastle, and Brighton. All right, so we're coming out of the dressing room right now ahead of Pep Guardiola, and we're supposed to get a 7.5 match rating, get at least two goals or assists, and complete five, four passes in the opponent's half, which I'm going to be enhancing to five. Let's hope that we can get a win in this match. I really wish I changed this to red because I really don't like the fact that they're wearing green on the green pitch. It's kind of confusing, but doesn't matter. We are the ones in blue, and it doesn't really confuse me that way. What I'm bothered about is that Arsenal is a good team, both in real life right now and in the game. So are we going to be able to... Like, look at that. What the hell is that? Like, the team does not want to win on God. Come on, thank you for that, Hakimi. And can I get past whoever this is? Yes, we do. And... Ah, uh, that was a good run. It was a really good run. I didn't see anybody to pass it, honestly. I was actually looking to pass to Haaland, but I left for just wasn't able to like, help us out there. But it was a good run. And, well, let's hope we have many more of that. See what we got. Alright, and Ram Ram Ramsdale, Ramsdale does get his gloves on that. Please! Alright, so we're able to... I mean, it was, it was a good con... Whoa! Anyways, it was a good concept, but... I wasn't able to like get the finish it on it. It got blocked, really. Come on, get the ball, please. Get the ball, please. Maybe. Ah, oh, thank you. That was a really good goal. Really good goal. And I mean, Arsenal is my team. Like I support Arsenal, but I mean, so it's still really good to score against them, to be honest. Really good to score against them. All right, good pass. I don't know why the fuck game is glitching. I know. Yeah, it was a nice header. A nice header. All right, what do we have here? Haaland. Keep the ball, please. Grealish. Another. All right, Ramsey was able to save that. All right, I wish I wish I had thought of like doing something acrobatic there. Sadly, I didn't. All right, it doesn't get to us. But Haaland does get. 
yeah, he gets a a head on that, and yeah, it was it was good. Okay, who can I give this to? Grealish. Yeah, that was really 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 far. All right, good save from Ederson there. And can I? Please. Oh my God, that is just so fucking stupid. You, you could have just passed back to me. You could have just passed back to me, but for some reason, he's giving someone who is in a fucking shiz position. All right, Ederson is Ederson. That's a load of crap. That's a load of crap. But anyways, pass here. Let's go into half time. It was. It was. It was a good half for our player, but the defense in the team, the, A, the, the, AI, the AI's defense is absolutely fucking shit. Like, it's so bad. And the painful thing is, I actually can't do anything about it. I actually can't. Like, legit, I cannot do anything about it. Alright, let's see what I got. That's really good to get past the defense. Give it to Haaland. Back to me. Back to Haaland. Please score it. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh my god. That did not just happen. That did, I, I mean, now you guys know that. I'm not just complaining for no reason. This is actually really fucking crazy. What, what is that? Why don't you just shoot? Hakimi got this, obviously. Kanji, to me, to Haaland. I mean, Haaland is really, really messing up, to be honest. Good. He just scored somebody. Alright, and it was a good chance. We're playing so well. Our player is playing so well, but... Yeah, there's really nothing you can do if they don't want to win the fucking match, to be honest. Nothing I can do at all. How long I see you? Come on, please. All right, now nah. I probably passed it too late. I think I passed it too late. But how long? Come on, sit up, sit the fuck up. All right, just shoot it, please. I, I can't, I can't even, I can't even take any chances. I probably should have passed back now that I look at it in hindsight. All right. Oh my god, that was sad. And yeah, it was a good, it was a good chance. It was a good shot. He, he shot with his, with his left leg, I think. That's why it was, wasn't really on target or anything like that. To me, nah, no chance. Oh my god, what the hell was that? I didn't, I didn't ask for that. All right, good, good pass from De Bruyne, and we cut that back. Make the pass. It wasn't the pass, but Grealish, come on. Why did you shoot straight at Deepa? What the hell would you do that? All right, let's see. Please hold on before you. Okay, that is great. Let's see what I can do here. It gets blocked. Intercepted, really. Yeah, I, I think I think he's definitely scoring this. Yeah, that is just absolutely. Okay, let's try and make the most of this. Let's try and make the most of this. Let's try and make the most of this. Please, please, please. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Ugh. You know, I won't even be mad if they score because we absolutely do not deserve to win this match. We absolutely do not deserve to win this match at all. My player does deserve to win the match, but whatever the fuck these guys are doing, I have no idea. I have no fucking idea what they're doing. I mean, they can't pass the ball right, they can't shoot the ball right. When I give Haaland fucking, um, what you call it, really good chances, he, he just stands and looks at the fucking keeper and just gets the ball. Uh, I don't even know what to say. But Asa does deserve to win. Yeah, they do. They play really well. And if not for me, this would have probably been like 4 0 or something because it's absolutely fucking stupid, to be honest. Let's see if there can be a miracle here. Let's try and bend the run. Please. Yeah, no, nah, it's not happening. That was pretty much the last thing I could do there. But they, they, they even delayed on that as well. Really nothing I can do. We lost the match and we absolutely deserve to lose the fucking match, to be honest, because it's, it's just dumb. And what do you know? We actually had a good match. We didn't get all of the objectives. 
get at least two goals or assists. Yeah, we didn't get all of the objectives, but I'm mean, because I've gotten an assist if Holland just fucking scores that goal that we passed here. I mean, it was just it's just done. Anyways, next up is the match against the side but that's going to be in the next episode. If you guys have enjoyed this match so far, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Put down in the comment section if you guys want us to leave Manchester City at the end of the season or you want to stay in Manchester City. I personally won't stay, but with the fact that we can't, we possibly are not going to get 35 plus by the end of the season. I probably we're probably not going to be able to stay. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I'm not